senior, senior citizens might use virtual reality head headsets for things like going on a rowing trip in a three-dimensional environment. Let's hear some more from Ping Yang from the Senior Cognitive Booster. Hi, I'm Ping, represent Senior Cognitive Booster. In the next five minutes, I'll tell you a story how we could use virtual reality to improve cognitive ability in elderly people. By 2030, one in six people in the world will be over 65 years old, and one in nine people in Finland has memory disorders, uh, such as dementia. So this is a big problem we are facing now. When I was a child, I always dreamed I can, have a, I can be smarter, and even now I hope I have better memory. But luckily, the, my dream can come be true because neuroplasticity. That means our brain is not static. It, although the neural generation, neuro regeneration is rare in adulthood, but uh, the connections between neurons can be elevated. The a healthy brain is like a jungle, is resistant to the cognitive decline, but the unhealthy brain is like fire wood, which is fragile. So our brain is in one sense like a muscle of our body. In, one ca in the case of using it or lose it. There are several factors we should concern to improve cognitive ability, such as take care of your he heart health, add physical activities, and improve your nutrition, add social activity, and challenge your brain. During the accelerator program, we have done several uh, workshops to dissimulate the knowledge, but we have no, uh, noticed that over 90% of the audience didn't know about these factors. In addition, the elder people lack a motivation to train themselves, and the existing pro programs lack of engagement, engagement of the elderly people, and there's no elderly friendly program. So virtual reality is the one promising and versatile instrument which can combine several factors I mentioned above, like physical activity, cognitive training, and as well as social activities. Our gamified solution will increase the attraction and the engagement of uh, the training program, which will improve the motiva self-motivation for the elder people to use it. And uh, in addition, uh, virtual reality can be a tra time traveler. It will bring you back to history into the future, uh, into the future, and it will in uh, uh, anywhere you want to be. And, uh, this will engage the emotional engagement, improve the emotional engagement, and further improve the self-motivation for the other people to use it. So find, ultimately, we'll also personalize, develop personalized solution to maximize the intervention effect. I'll show you a video. It's about the feedback obtained during the workshop organized by the, our collaborator, uh, Better Day. A lot of people who have some sort of dementia forget things in the now, but they remember things from the past. And these VR classes can bring up those memories. For example, this one lady has some problems with her memory, but when she had to row the boat, uh, she immediately understood what to do with her hands because uh, she was in the lake in a boat. Noin. No niin, minkälainen kokemus oli? Kaikki tää on tuttua. No niin, mm. kyllä, Saimaa kyllä. Saimaa olen minä kasvanut ja syntynyt. <laughs> <laughs> so, our aim is to postpone dementia for five to ten years. 
And we be, uh, uh, believe that every elderly people deserves a high quality of life, as well as their family members. I appreciate my team members during the accelerator program. They have done an amazing job. So believe you can improve your cognitive ability. We senior cognitive boosters are here to help you. Thank you. Thank you, Ping. You can vote for this team with the number 14. Now, could I get the comment from the judges, please? Sure. So thank you very much for that uh, very exciting uh, presentation. Firstly, I want to tell you that I'm Sari Hassinen, Managing Director of Health, health Tech Finland, uh, which is an industry association for health technology companies. We have around 110 members. Before that, I coordinated industry-driven pre-commercial research, and because of that, I believe in cooperation. I believe in industry academia cooperation, multidisciplinary research, because one plus one is more than two. But uh, then to your presentation, uh, your societal problem is elderly people living alone with lack of exercise and memory disorders. It's human border, uh, but also a healthcare cost. Well, your idea uh, is new. Uh, develop an elderly uh, targeted physical and cognitive training software implemented in virtual reality. It's wonderful. This attractive environment could increase the motivation and engagement of users, so that's great. And uh, I think you have a good roadmap, and uh, when I'm old, I will be your customer, or I hope I will live in some home uh, where this, uh, your, like your product is available. So thank you very much, and good luck for this competition. <laughs> 